Uh, we keep mentioning Benavides. He fights this weekend. Caron Davis, I think. More power to you stepping in there, Davis. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be a long night work for, for Benavides. I think I think this is a statement win for him. And I think he I think he puts puts the, the foot to the pedal pretty early there. And calls off Canelo immediately after the fight. Yeah, he after should call out Canelo during the fight. He should he should be he's he should be wailing on Davis going, Canelo, this is you next. Just I mean, I, I mean, is he technically crazy. the the lineal champion at one one sixty eight? The WBC is he technically the lineal champion right now? Wow. I know that that's a common term in you know you know the lower weights other than the heavyweight division, but I mean, he lost the belt on a you know on something not a, other than a loss, right? Yeah. So wouldn't he technically be the WBC champion? He, so he I was. The number one guy, like the ring didn't have him as the ring champion. And so he he was considered the top super middleweight before Canelo moved up. But uh, technically, he never was the real champ. So, OK, gotcha. yeah. but yeah, I think he I think he makes makes pretty quick work of Davis. And another interesting fight, uh, Gabe Rosado fights Jaime Munguia yeah. for for Rosado. I'm really happy he's getting the praise that I think he's he's not received in the past. But I think it may be a, fighters. It may be a little bit too much because he has this big knockout win, and everyone's like, "Is this a second win in his career? Let's throw him in there against Jaime Munguia." And I'm like, eh, "It was a good knockout, but <laughs> he was losing that fight." <laughs> so and it got uh, dropped. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm not sure this is like a resurrection, but uh, he, you know, he looks better. I think he might have beat Daniel Jacobs. That was a, a bad performance by DJ. But uh, what do you think? Any overall? Legend. He yeah, Freddie Roach. Legend, Freddie Roach. Yeah. So Any thoughts on that matchup, Mungi and Rosado? You guys got it. Anyone? Shane. Anyone at all? Shane? Yeah, yeah I, I got it. Um, yeah, I think that that's a, a good fight. I, I do agree with you. I'm not sure how much he has left, but but he did show his veteran his veteranship. I, I guess you could say he yeah. showed uh, his craftiness and his timing. You know what I mean? He may not have to, he's not the fastest guy. He's not the, the strongest guy, but he knows how to time guys. He knows how to use his body. He knows how to use, you know, different crafty stuff. And yeah, you could say that Daniel Jacobs had a bad night, but you could say that that's the genius of Gabriel Rosado. He could yeah. do. Yeah, right. Exactly. Like he made it that way. He made it, he made it to where that he couldn't do anything and, uh, and made him feel like there wasn't an opportunity. So uh, with that being said, you know what I mean? He does have, have that going into this and so um i do think that i would probably give the upper hand to uh, monkey because he's younger fresher and you know i mean he's he's really really strong but um you know he's shown kinks in his game before and and you know with a crafty guy um he could set him up and and you know make some good work out of this i'm not saying that you know i think yeah. he could win but good uh, step you know, up maybe I, yeah, it, it, it's a really good fight, and I think there there could he could pose a problem. You like the matchups, I tell. I agree. Yeah, I pretty much agree with just Shane. Um, like it, it's it's a winnable you, fight. For, uh, huh? I guess F me an ant, but that's fine. <laughs> oh no, we didn't get to your guy. He's like, I just I just agree with Shane. He's like, I know. I didn't let it go. Go ahead. I was bullshit. Go ahead. No, I didn't. I didn't get to hear your guys' uh, uh, real thoughts on the matchup just yet. Just I also you. just agree with Shane, <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, fella. <laughs> if I got to hear what, what Carson, you know, I got to hear you guys. And I can't agree with you guys. They give your uh, side <laughs> song. Go ahead, Zytel. <laughs> but uh, oh, you got me feeling bad, man. No, um, it's a hey, say somebody. Say, look, hey, guys, guys, look at his hair. Yeah, look at his hair. Great, you got great hair, hair. Zytel. No matter what they yeah, say yeah. about you. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, got, how do you like the matchup? I get clean cut like Shane, man. Get the. Anyways, yeah, I mean, hey, hey. <laughs> right. Right. he knows what he, Shane knows it, but no, I um, he got better skills than uh, uh, fighters with a better record than he does. You know, Rosado has always been crafty. He's always got skills. He that Philadelphia it looks like he watched some Bernard Hopkins in his day. You know, he's he's, he's definitely oh. always has some skills. Um, but but uh, Mungia has had some awful defense at times in his career. So I'm sure Rosado will be able to, to, to get his good work off. But on the other side, Mungi is a really good offensive fighter. You know, yeah. he's, he puts together really good combinations. He's got solid power in both hands. He's got a great left hook to the body, lets them hands go. 
throws a lot of punches per round, doesn't get tired. So he should handle his business. I think he'll win this fight. But, you know, he better he better start improving at this level. And Rosado's the exact kind of guy that can give him the uh, the growth he needs in this fight so he can finally fight a Boo Boo Andre or, or a, a Jamal Charlo. We know that fight's probably not happening. But, like, a, yeah. you know, a Boo Boo Andre, it seems like that's on the radar because they both fight on the zone. And this is, this is a good fight to get him ready for for uh, Boo Boo Andre. Yeah, I think this would be a good fight, like you said. I think for, I think Mungia wins and maybe stops him, but I think this is a good one for Mungia to figure some stuff out, figure out your defense, and, and how to be offensive against a veteran. Like, Rosado's been in there with everyone. He's won some, he's lost some, he's been knocked down. He's So I think just being able to, to piece that together and kind of fill in your game a little bit, I think will will be important for McGee, who's still extremely, extremely young, uh, for especially kind of uh, going up there. But, uh, yeah, did you have any overall thoughts there? Yeah, but I've been a Rosado fan for years. When he fought uh, uh, the guy with Floyd Mayweather, it got robbed a few times. But uh, he's been in wars, me watching his career. Man, and the offense from – what was the name? Uh, Munguia. Munguia. Now, I think this is a fight that retires Rosado. It could be. He goes off into the sunset and comes back and be a hell of a trainer, of a commentator. Yeah. A guy knows the game of boxing, but the body's been through too many wars. And I think yeah. this finally going to catch up with him. He's gonna just going to kind of push him yeah. off the edge. Yeah, this is. I feel like this is the one. But I feel Which like is no boxing, slight to him because he's yeah, been boxing got, forever. <laughs> yeah, he knows hey, the what, game. What do, y'all, what, like. do, what do y'all think about if uh, Mongia uh, beats Rosado, he fights Canelo? What do you think about that fight? Canelo and, and Munguia. The defense. Yeah, I think I think Canelo. But 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 the offense though. I mean he has yeah, he, yeah, he does have yeah. an incredible offense. He did yeah. he did uh pierce somebody's lip, I mean teeth through their lip. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> you, know what I mean? Like, oh nasty. you remember that? Yeah. Like um oh. so I mean I mean I think I think it's a very fan friendly fight. I do think that of For course sure. that, that Canelo would win, but I think you know if he does a good performance, I mean, you know, that wouldn't be a bad you know, not at all. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. So not at all. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do right. it again. Let's all do right. it. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.